Hello, this is my uh, commentary episode 3, and in this episode I am mainly going to be talking to you about um, sniping, how to improve your sniper, how to um, how to use quick scopes, uh, long scopes, no scopes, shit like that, anticipation. Alright, so first um, I'm going to talk to you about uh, anticipation kills. An anticipation kill is when um you you have a sniper and you know someone's gonna come around a corner, so you position your snipe like just like this. So you, you position it to try to hit him in the head. So um like you you know someone's coming around a corner and they don't see you and you have a sniper. So you try you stick the sniper right where you think they're gonna be when they come out of that corner and then you shoot them and try to get them in the face. It's pretty effective. Um. It works very well. It's one of my favorite things. All right, so um, next I'm gonna be talking to you about quick scoping. And um, shit, you just gotta watch this. This shit, this shit's awesome right here. Fucking lay at him. Look at this anticipation right here. That's 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 right. This is a quick scope coming up. Quick scope. And then look at this. The overkill fairy didn't want me to have it. All right. Well, anyway. Alright, so quick scoping. Quick scoping is when, um, it's pretty much like no scoping. You get the scope, the crosshair, as close to their head as you can, and then you scope in real quick and shoot. Um, it, it has a better percentage of getting in their head than scope, or no scoping does. That's what I like about it. Um, if you practice it a lot, instead of just like having your scope always, um, having it always zoomed in, it, you know, that gets stale after a while. If you have it, if you quick scope, it's fun or not, you know. Like that, that was a quick scope. I was trying to no scope that kid. I tried to quick scope at the end there, but I couldn't get him. Alright, so now I'm going to talk to you about uh, no scoping. No scoping is, I would say, pretty much, um, let's see, I'd say it's 60% skill and 40% luck. What? How I no scope? is I usually just kind of swing my crosshair so that it when it gets to the point of their face I try to kind of shoot it's kind of it's hard to explain how to no scope you can do it one of two one or two ways um the first way is uh kind of like um just aiming for their head and shooting without moving your crosshair and the second way is like moving your crosshair really fast over their face or over their body and then shooting, trying to get lucky and hit him in the face. That's what I do. It seems to me like the most effective way. Um, yeah, I got bagged there. Don't know why, but I did. All right, so um, there's nothing really else to do. Um, if you want to improve your sniper, the best thing I can give you is to like uh, always be using a sniper if you want to improve it, do team snipers a lot, do social slayer or social whatevers, and just get the sniper. Um, that's the only way you're going to get better is if you actually use it. Alright, so I guess I'll just uh, I'll comment in the rest of this video on how to actually play. Alright, so since it's team snipers, everyone has a sniper, so you can never be, you know, you can never not look out for someone that has a power weapon. So what I've done is, we've already got them down to their spawn, so now they're just spawning right when we see them, so we can pretty much just kill them. So I just keep rushing their base and looking at their spawns to try to take them out. Um, they either will spawn next to the uh, S1, or they will spawn their shotgun, or in their pit. So, uh, oh yeah, in their uh, sword room too. So there's not many places where they'll gang up on you if you try to spawn kill and whatnot. So um, I mainly just chill on either sword, sword bridge, or um, usually sword bridge or their training if I want to try to pick up spawn kills. But if you're going to be less aggressive because they're actually pushing better than these guys are right now, you would probably want to stay at either your training or your snipe or your snipe or your uh, sword room side. So yeah, so now I'm just checking their spawns. Always be checking their spawns. Always check next to their shotgun and next to their lift. 
No, I think they're just gonna be spawning on the other other our side, since we pushed too far in and pretty much got a uh, extermination on them. It's pretty easy to take them out because they're because they're getting shot from all sides. I don't know where they are. By golly gosh, all three of them spawned an S1 and they all went over the lift. Not the smartest thing, but yeah. Right, right there, someone quit. I think they only have two people now, which is kind of horrible, but whatever. Um, yeah, they're spawning on our side now, as you can see. We're looking for them and we're not seeing them. That guy would not die. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Check their spawns at their platform right over there. Yeah, they're spawning there. I missed that easy double kill. That's my bad. Okay, now they're gonna spawn definitely either at Sword Room or next to S1 by the lift, of course. That guy spawned Sword Room, so we moved out with the Snap Bridge. And I could not kill him. He gets this immaculate lunge. This diagonal lunge, which is really weird. I've never seen that, but I get bagged again. Um, yeah, I'm just checking their spawns. It's a good spot to stand if you want to spawn kill right there. That guy just got raped. Get another easy double, which was two headshots, which was pretty cool. Didn't even look like it. So now they're getting a spawn sword room or S1 again. They spawn S1, and I just get up the last kill. Um, that's it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and thank you for watching.